Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya. Hello everyone. So today I feel like talking about how to achieve world peace. So this world is made up by all the beings that live here. I particularly all the minds of all the beings that live here. I will talk about all is from the mind. The reality is a projection of the mind. And the scientists have also proved that. So in order to achieve world peace, and it's necessary for most beings in the world, particularly those who are in power and position to obtain peace of mind. On the surface, wars may be started by all kinds of reasons, like historical, religious, economic, etc. But deep down, it's really due to the conflicts in people's mind. It's really due to people's greed, anger, and ignorance, like all these mental defilements. Like people are not be able to control their mental defilements. They cannot control their greed, anger, and ignorance. And also due to their strong attachment and separation. And hence, like it gives rise to all kinds of conflicts and wars. So in order to achieve world peace, like it's required that most people, and particularly those who are in power and position, to obtain peace of mind, and to have compassion, and to understand uh, the oneness in all beings, and also to believe in the law of karma, the law of cause and effect, and why people keep committing bad deeds, evil deeds, because a lot of people do not believe in the law of karma. They do not believe that there is a consequence to every action that they make. And that's why people keep committing evil deeds. But this is extremely difficult to achieve world peace, right? given the time that we are in. Like the Shakyamuni Buddha predicted that we are currently in the Dharma ending age, where there will be more conflicts in the world. The world will be more corrupted right? due to right, people's minds and people not willing to observe morality, to practice good. So we'll talk more about the Dharma ending age in another video. But uh, this is really not a good time, uh, as predicted by the Buddha, and it's exactly what's happening in the world. Although Buddhas and Bodhisattvas, they are still in this world to try to help us, but not many people listen to them. And not many people understand uh, the Buddha's teachings. If anything that can help save the world, uh, it will really be the Buddha's teachings and wisdom. And we talked about before how the essence of Buddhism is not really a religion, but really it's a path for awakening and uh, to awaken our true nature and uh, also the oneness in all beings. But it's difficult for uh, first of all, for many people to encounter the Buddha Dharma, uh, let alone to say to understand it and to practice it. Uh, it also requires good karma, merit, and blessings from past lives. So, how to achieve world peace? Uh, theoretically, it is possible for our world to be transformed into a pure land, uh, provided that if all the beings' mind becomes pure pure minds, pure land. But in reality, uh, this is much more difficult. And that's why Amitabha Buddha creates a whole new world, I right, call the Western Pure Land of Ultimate Bliss, instead of trying to transform this world here. Right, because Amitabha Buddha did not create a suffering world that we're living in. Right? No one did, but our own mind. Right? If there is really a creator that creates everything here, that would be too easy, and the Creator can just solve all the suffering and conflicts. Right? If He is the Creator, He has to be responsible, right? But the Buddha said, right, no one is capable of doing that. Right? This world is created by our mind, right? by the illusory mind. Right? People in this world operate with their illusory mind, with greed, anger, and ignorance, and hence, all the conflicts and sufferings. Theoretically, it is possible for our world to achieve world peace and to be like a pure land. But 
realistically, uh, this is uh, just too difficult uh, because people here are so deeply ingrained in their illusory mind, are uh, so much attached to greed, anger, and ignorance, uh, particularly those who are in power and position. That's why it is difficult. So what to do? Uh, sometimes there isn't that much that we can do. But for Pure Land practitioners, and for those who believe in Amitabha Buddha, if you recite the name of Amitabha Buddha, you have deep faith and vow. Even this world comes to an end, you will not be affected. I even say if there were a nuclear war that just destroyed all humanity, all beings. But hopefully this will not happen. I hopefully people who are in power and position can keep their sanity. I, otherwise, given the amount of nuclear weapons that we are possessing in the world, if there's another like World War Three, that would be the end of humanity. Right? But we hope this will not happen. I right? fingers crossed. I hope that people will still keep the sanity. But for pure land practitioners and for those who believe in Amitabha Buddha, even if it's the end of the world, we will still be saved. I, through Amitabha Buddha's great vows, by reciting the name of Amitabha Buddha, we can migrate and attain rebirth into Amitabha Buddha's pure land. But while we are here, we should also try to plant the seed of Amitabha Buddha to as many beings as possible. What can really help save the world? It would really be Buddha's teachings and wisdom, and particularly the pure land Dharma gate, I given that this is the easiest path for liberation, I, we rely on the power of Amitabha Buddha to deliver us to the Pure Land, and there we will attain enlightenment. Instead of trying to attain enlightenment here in this world, which is just too difficult, I, given that the conditions of this world is not so ideal for our spiritual practice, and it's really difficult for us to let go of all our attachment. That's why, uh, due to the great infinite compassion of Amitabha Buddha, he created this perfect pure land. And once we attain rebirth in the pure land, we'll be free from our greed, anger, and ignorance, and we can attain enlightenment there. Uh, this is indeed true. Many people, they name for, they have seen Amitabha Buddha and have attained rebirth in the pure land. So what can really help save the world, the beings in the world here, would be actually named for the Pure Land Dharma Gay that I kept repeating. Of course, many people maybe would not believe in this. I, one also cannot have few good karma, merit, and blessings to attain rebirth in the Pure Land, like the Amitabha Sutra says. And why is that? Because you also need to have good karma, merit, and blessings to first encounter the Pure Land Dharma Gate. And not many people in the world can encounter the Pure Land Dharma Gate. And to be willing to believe it and to practice it. It's only that you practice it, you believe it, that you can attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's Pure Land. So for Pure Land practitioners, and for those who believe in Amitabha Buddha, will always be saved, will always be protected by Amitabha Buddha's great vows. But while we are here, we should also try to help as many beings as possible by spreading the seed of Amitabha Buddha. Just let people to hear this name, even for once, they will be saved. If not this lifetime, and maybe their karma is not mature enough yet, but they will also be saved in the future lifetime due to Amitabha Buddha's vows. So our job here is just to I share the name of Amitabha Buddha. Let as many people as possible to hear this name, I just even for once. Then in the future, if not this lifetime, future lifetimes, they will also be saved. Our individual power is of course limited, but we just do as much as we can. After we go to the Pure Land, we'll realize Buddhahood, then we can come back to this world and be in all the worlds in the ten directions to help save sentient beings. So may all beings be happy and free from suffering. May all beings hear the name of Amitabha Buddha 
and attain rebirth in Amitabha Buddha's pure land. Namo Buddhaya, Namo Amitabhaya.